Uh, hello, everyone, and thanks for coming to my presentation. And my presentation is about Rust in kernel CI, but it's mainly about kernel CI. <laughs> and Rust is a catchphrase. And yeah, but I will talk a bit about also kernel, uh, about Rust. So um, <clears throat> I am Harisu Tachibana, and I am I am a Gentoo developer, and I'm part of the kernel CI uh, technical steering committee. I'm part of the CIP, and I work for uh, Cybertas Japan. So about this presentation, most of the things that I say that is right in my presentation are mostly my opinion. <laughs> so uh, not, not uh, yeah, mostly my opinion. <clears throat> so uh, we talk about uh, a bit about what is kernel CI and what is Rust for Linux, but I think that uh, most of you know probably what is kernel CI, what is Rust for Linux. And then I will talk about uh, what we are implementing in kernel CI for helping with testing with uh, Rust for Linux. <coughs> so, uh, kernel CI is a continuous integration system that is used by uh, the Linux community. And is to send some mail report to a stable uh, mailing list and to some uh, practically sending to Greg. And, but everyone can see from the mailing list, can see the report of kernel CI and, and yeah, is CI is trying to take a distributed approach. So, so every part is practically uh, can be um, distributed theoretically. So, CNSI is do done by the technical steering committee and the advisory board. At and we are meeting um, the technical steering committees one at once, and I think also the advisory board, but I'm not sure because I'm only in the technical steering committee. And there are some members that are supporting work of CNSCI. So, CNSCI is helping practically. Uh, keeping uh, what we uh, at least giving a view on uh, what we are adding to the kernel and, and see that nothing's broke. <clears throat> so why is it scalable? Because it's divided in, we are using different part of uh, kernel CI that can be installed. Uh, distributed. <coughs> Lava Docker actually is still the main CNSCI uh, laboratory, but is uh, currently we are, we are trying to not only use Lava Docker, but also uh, trying to use different system for having uh, testing. And we have also some repository where we are adding the test definition. And we are using currently Jenkins, but we are moving to a different system that is called uh, KNSCI API. <coughs> and, but is not completed yet. I think some part of it is working with that, but not yet everything. <coughs> so we have not only KNSCI, but also some other uh, operating system that are helping sending data to CNSCI, and all this data is uh, sended upstream or anyway can view by some by CNSCI uh, website. <coughs> so a 
are distributed and yeah we have many test lab and everyone can add his own test lab and we have current kernel 3 under uh, uh, that are tested by kernel sci but actually there are more and i think i didn't add rust yeah i didn't add rust so rust for linux <coughs> Um, as for Linux, um, is um, the project that is trying to add in, that is adding support to offer us to the Linux kernel, and yeah, is made by <coughs> I think Michael or Jeda, uh, no, some other there is maintainer and reviewer and. The work is supported by this company. And yeah, is um, adding the support. And if you want to use it, there is many guide online, like explaining how to uh, <coughs> use uh, Rust uh, for Linux. And what the current things of Rust for Linux is that is currently only support uh, a specific version of Rust. And like you can try to probably build with old one, but probably it's not everything is working because um, as explained after, <coughs> Rust for Linux is uh, using some unstable feature of Rust and this can break uh, when you try to use as for Linux. And then it's using uh, bin gen uh, that is binding the C side of the kernel and Silab part of LVM. So um, <coughs> I think I read. So, um, yeah, I was talking about the unstable feature that is using as for Linux. And actually, there are many and I don't know how I can show that page. Um, there is a pending issue actually I was thinking about making this a, recently I was thinking about making this more of a both uh, presentation for everything that is So this is the list uh, of all the unstable feature that is using uh, Rust for Linux. Uh, needed uh, for the kernel, and there are actually many. So, and that's why only <coughs> one version of the Rust is practically working <laughs> with Rust for Linux. <coughs> And so currently, uh, Rust for Linux is using uh, two main uh, system for checking uh, every um, patch that is going to Rust for Linux. One is way is using currency and the other way is using GitHub Action. But I, I think GitHub Action is currently only for like uh, they recently uh, deprecated the Rust branch in favor of Rust Next. And I don't know if the GitHub Action is yet working on the Rust Next. And currency recently deprecated the Rust branch. <clears throat> so we got added the um, one years ago. Uh, we got added the branch uh, of Rust for Linux under Canesia uh, for um, taking it under uh, control, and from there we. Uh, in that patch, actually, we got uh, the, <coughs> the branch repository, and then we got the fragment of the configuration that is going to build for 
uh, in currency value. And we enable the module, some sample module for checking uh, that Rust for Linux is building, but the problem was that recently we are actually not building it and I, I look at why and probably we didn't get the, the first part of the fragment, but only the sample part. So I sent a pull request yesterday for asking to build both. <coughs> and yeah, this one is the core practically of currency <laughs> that is building uh, as for Linux. And it's also building case of test, but I'm not sure on what reason. And the interesting part is the build environment that is the environment that is used for it is used for building uh, as for Linux. So CanSCI <coughs> is uh, practically uh, each build have its own environment and uh, Rust environment is using CLang, is based on CLang plus uh, some Rust component. And so we are, I wish you after, but we are making the Docker of RASC and actually anyone can use that. And we have a patch that I sent it actually yesterday. <laughs> and we started to build some module, but yeah. Actually, I still have to think about w what we have to do <laughs> with such mo like, um, okay, it build, but what other tests can be done? And if such test, uh, enough good for <laughs> kind of CI. And so, yeah, the Docker, the first part of the building feature that we was making the Docker image is actually on uh, uh, everyone, anyone can download that and play with uh, kind of CI Docker image. So the Docker image is another fragment in kind of CI. Uh, the first one it was YAML, and this one I think is Jinja because it's practically just the Docker Compose part of the Docker building image. And, and we're trying to follow RAS for Linux. RAS for Linux is helping us with some, some patch like when, when we uh, stable, when we are stabilizing the new version of RAS, we are sending as usually the patch for uh, the new RAS for adding a uh, new version of Rust C. So we are actually trying to collaborate also with Rust for Linux and Rust for Linux is collaborating for us. I send also some little patch for Rust for Linux. <coughs> So, um, the Docker part is practically just getting the Rust toolchain, and with the Rust toolchain, is just uh, uh, is installing the toolchain that we have. The Rust part is then worked by another part. And installing Binjan, and then I think it's installing also Rust. Rust uh, FMT that is the formatting things of Rust. And then we have also Clippy, but we are not using Clippy, so it could be a new feature of what we want to, to test with Kernel CI. Uh, <coughs> there is on uh, the kernel.org, there is doc in the documentation, is right, uh, the minimal version for uh, uh, building with Rust for Linux in the kernel. <coughs> and you can also do some, uh, Rust is available for knowing if it's building or not. Um, so I was saying recently we deprecated the Rust branch. Uh, so new development branch in Rust for Linux, it became Rust dev but is not yet under kind of CI. The problem of putting everything under kind of CI is that we also need to see 
that we are not overflowing the resource of currency. Uh, so, um, and this one is how you can see from the web page about the build of RAS for Linux. <coughs> and checking that we are building Rust. So um, in the um, currency I web page, there is, a, if you click on the build option, you can add write Rust in the search, and you will see all the build that we are doing for Rust. And currently, <laughs> I think in the uh, production version of currency I, we have probably really few build. And we are mostly building on the staging version, that is the development version of CI. So, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm trying to move in such things to the production of CI. And uh, yeah, we, we author of CI and RAS for Linux. <coughs> And yeah, if you click on the result on the build status, you can see. But I think also by the mail that you send in each time. I don't know if staging is actually sending the mail. Uh, we will try <laughs> to send the mail from, from now on. I, I, yeah, I don't know how it's feasible. And yeah, if you see on the... Um, build, there is the log, and on the log you can see that actually building Rust, but this need to be automated, and this is not automated, I think. Uh, at least it just automated the fact that if nothing broke, it is okay, but... And yeah, we have the docker that build, and that is the node name, that is Rust the last version, I think. <coughs> so, uh, in the future, what, uh, so can I say is currently building Rust, but it have not so much of testing of Rust, some part, but like is using the sample uh, configuration that is inside the Rust for Linux, that is building some module and say that is everything okay, but I think recently, and that's why um, we had two Rust samples, because actually they are both uh, competing the sample in Rust, but they are doing the same thing, and actually I'm not even sure why we, we had both. And I think uh, one of the sample parts are not building, because I tried yesterday and I couldn't, I found only the print and <coughs> some part of, it, it was a mix of <laughs> uh, Rust for Linux sample and uh, Rust sample. So uh, we probably have to fix such things. So another thing that we can use is doing using Clippy, that is the Lintian of Rust in, <coughs> that is used by Rust for Linux, but not everything that Clippy found is actually uh, a problem for uh, Rust in kernel. So I tried to send some requests about that. Some got closed, some got uh, merged, I think. Few, few of them got, got actually merged. And then recently, uh, I don't know the pronunciation, Lawell uh, introduced Cosinel uh, for us at the last uh, Rust for Linux workshop in uh, two months ago. And we, we actually have a Cosinel uh, uh, <coughs> Docker environment on kernel CI. So I, I, I don't, actually I don't even know if it's actually used by kernel CI or if we just have such things. 
So uh, this could be an uh, interesting part of <coughs> making Cosinel checking, uh, also checking the Rust for Linux. <coughs> So I don't know if someone is interested about <laughs> uh, looking into this. And then uh, also this one, I think this one is more old, but I read about that also two months ago, that <coughs> they, they recently could use Rust C code changes GCC for building uh, Rust for Linux with uh, GCC with this patch. And so we could probably we could also make a, a Docker for uh, Rust code changes. You see, so this could be another option. And other thing was was talking uh, Ojeda San on Rust for the, on one of the pull requests that sent to KMSI was that uh, we are currently following the. Maximum version, the, the one one only version of Rust, and but in the future he said that it will be also the minimum and maximum version. So pr probably can I say we follow both, but yeah, it's still about how many resources we can use for checking everything. <laughs> I don't know. So someone, someone, me or some other person will try and probably to send a patch for this in the future. But yeah, I, I don't know how much it will be near. <laughs> um, probably uh, the things that uh, there has to be done before these thinking about this is probably about the unstable future in that uh, Rust for Linux is using on Rust. <coughs> so the conclusion is not actually a conclusion. It's just uh, a fun <laughs> with, with uh, Rust for Linux and kind of CI. And I don't know if there is any. I, also, this is why it probably was better to make a both and not a presentation. Uh, if there is any suggestion on any question, I don't know. Any, anything about both kind of, well, probably more about kind of CI than Rust for Linux. If you have any question, anything, I can try to reply. Also, if it's not about Rust, if it's just about CI for something. Uh, if there is nothing, I'm okay also. <laughs> um, yeah, there is CANSI documentation, you have uh, Rust for Linux documentation, so if you want. I have a question. Um, okay. So So anyone can add a test to kernel CI and... Okay, um, I have to repeat. No. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, can CI is practically on GitHub, so anyone can send up a request for can CI. Probably uh, it's also about if I send up a pull request to CanSCI, will that pull request be good for CanSCI? Will it be merged by CanSCI? I, I, I think the best is anyway sending something. <laughs> also opening an issue and asking, is this future good for you? And uh, I'm not the only technical steering committee we are I don't know, I don't remember how many. <laughs> we recently uh, became less two, <laughs> so <laughs> minus two. So uh, anyway, one of them we anyway reply. But I think it's good to see that there is some involvement in current CI in any case. So 
if there is something that you want to change in CNSI, please send. Uh, the only things that I get a bit stranger myself is that uh, currently we are trying to replace Jenkins with something else. So if there is a patch for Jenkins, probably I don't know how much it will be accepted, such things, because. Yeah. But if it's like I want to add this tree, I want to change, or I want to uh, do this test or that test, that I think you can uh, anyway send and is more than welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is more adding than welcome. Adding to the kernel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's done through the same repository. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That is more than welcome. And <clears throat> yeah, currently we are doing such things with Lava, so practically is some Lava, but but also send also if you send like um, probably also draft to request sending like I want to add this one and that one and then someone will come out and tell you how to add. The, and like the lava part or where to add. Uh, if you're interested about the test, there is the testing framework repository, I think, in current CI. And uh, you can see all the tests that is doing on lava. And that part is Docker. We have the, mm, mm, mm. Uh, So one can be the test config. Uh, so you can go to the CNSI core config core test config and there is all the configuration of the testing. And you can see where he's getting such things. And probably if he's Jinja too, he's probably from uh, Lava. And... Um, oh, wait. If he's Jinja too, it's just... Uh, yeah, he's probably from Lava. <coughs> and... Yeah, this is the list of all the tests that are done, done in... Uh, and another one is, I was telling you, was this is the Docker part, where there is also the Rust and there is the Cosinel one. But, uh, uh, yeah, somewhere here in this, there is Cosinel and the CVA hunt. And yeah, there, there are a bunch of uh, Things that are used for also for testing, not only for um, uh, tool chain. Yeah. yeah. And the last one that I was saying was the framework. Ah. Uh, ah, that's the finish. <coughs> that is all uh, the lava test definition of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, in, in any case, uh, showing that there is some interest in some testing more than other testing is any way good, I think. You know and showing that anyway there is interest in building such things. I don't know, I, I think uh, Rust for Linux was at first introduced by uh, a Canessi developer, I think, and then uh, Rust for Linux community started to help uh, keeping the Rust for Linux testing update. So recent, recent from <laughs> one year ago, uh, almost after we got the first pull request, we started to got 
pull request also from Rust for Linux community. Uh, yeah, so showing that very interest, I think, is good for showing that there is also such things to the community that could be a good tool for keeping uh, a check on the on the ten. Can I, there is also, I think, some people that is using also for development. There is, uh, I think, there is some branch that uh, just added like as development version. I not, yeah, so uh, I, yeah, so there is also such possibility. I think one of the things that I try to say is that with the change from Jenkins to Kernel API, it would be nice probably to give such possibility by like some credential that is giving the possibility to send some code or something to Kernel CI and it will be such thing. I don't know how much it will be implemented of it. Uh, yeah, but probably my, <laughs> I am starting to divagate on the question. <laughs> yeah. If there is any other question, anything else? Well, thanks for the presentation. Then I now I'm trying to access to the KCI DB dashboard. Oh, okay, okay. But unfortunately, it says that the dashboard is temporarily out of service due to some yeah. resource shortage. So, does it happen often or? I also see it yesterday when it was. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. maybe I can try next week. Can I see <laughs> the dashboard working? Uh, I think, uh, you, yeah, yeah, you should talk to Nikolai about that. <laughs> and Nikolai is the guy of KCI that is working about KCIDB. Mm, I see, I see. Anyway, so I'm yeah. very interested in it. Oh, okay, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. So KCDB is giving out some credential to people that want to contribute tests on current CI. And so as I was showing it, uh, the presentation, one of the first presentation was like showing that there is current CI and then there is like Red Hat and Gen2 and also <laughs> some other uh, that have their own, uh, they have their own uh, testing system framework and but we want anyway to collaborate with KCI result so usually the the way is to add a new issue to KCI requesting a, a new credential for your framework and we will give you your credential for sending your test to KCIDB and there is the command of KCDB that is made by Nikolai, so that part is uh, mostly, uh, I think, made by Nikolai, so. Uh, I, I also, <laughs> was, oh, it's down. <laughs> oh, I didn't work. Oh. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Or oh, any other question about something that currently works? <laughs> any other questions? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming.